Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn a bit about the synchronous machine within the Simulink. So first of all, you need to open the Simulink by writing the command Simulink in the command window and press enter. In some moments it will be okay now now it is open okay now uh, first we need to click on new model okay now we have our new model here we can make it big as well okay now in a uh, library browser we need to write synchronous and we will get a lot of devices but we will select the synchronous machine PU standard so click on it and add block to model untitled okay now we have got our synchronous machine here okay now in order to connect it with the source and loads so we will again go to library browser and here we will write rlc and we will search for three phase parallel loads so we will add them here okay we, we have got our loads after it we will go for the source We, we, we will write three phase source and here we will get our three phase source so this is our synchronous machine this is our three phase source and this is our three phase parallel RC load now we will connect our point number C with that of point C point V with that of point B and point A with that of point A okay now uh, the same will be with the three phase source so A with A B with B and C with C okay now we have now two inputs uh, parameter and one is output on output we will get a lot of parameters and we will just insert the value for two inputs the one is mechanical power and this one is field force so we again we will again go to library browser we will write here constants We will add two constants here. Okay. We will give the value for our PM and then this one. Okay, now in order to see the multiple outputs from synchronous machine we will go and we will select our bus selector so again go and go to library browser here we will write bus it will be enough so we will get our selector so this is our bus selector we will connect it with the output n okay now now we will go and we will 
select some attributes and those attributes whose values we want to show them as output so we will select a lot like uh, uh, press control and we will see all okay so select select this this one okay we will remove it out we will also select some more like stator current okay so okay now we are going to apply okay now you can see that from synchronous machine we can get extract a lot of outputs so we will again go to our edit uh, view and library browser and here we will write display on display we will like uh, we will take some more some more displays to be attached with a lot of values more of the values you you need more displays okay now we will attach our display with this first display and then I will attach the second display with the second parameter, the third display with the third parameter, the fourth display or display number three with this and uh, this display because we have added a lot of displays so We also need to make it a little big. Yeah, okay, we can add a lot when more than that but i think it's enough because we don't want to observe each and every parameter but which parameters we use to select the first one is rotor angle deviation d theta the third one is rotor speed and obviously uh, parameters input will have their impacts on these outputs electrical power pe rotor speed deviation motor, rotor mechanical angle electromagnetic torque rotor speed deviation rotor mechanical angle and electromagnetic torque or te and these all parameters will just depends uh, upon these two input parameters and some of the internal parameters of the synchronous machine but we will just run it out and we will see that either it is going to work yeah yeah we, we do not use to take power gui block so we have to include it out so here we will write power GGI block and it will be there okay now we will run and there are like dozens of values popping there okay now you can see that there are a lot a lot of values that are displaying uh, in real time because it is running in real time like uh, now time is 0.242 2 percent uh, simulation is done 3 percent and it all depends upon time so you will get your power so hopefully you got some bit concept that how to run it now if you want to use any of the parameter like uh, rotor angle deviation or rotor speed 
or uh, if you want to like uh, change these parameters to that is power and field force then you can change them and can see their impact on the outputs so now just run it and just want to get some sort of concept from this synchronous machine topic so thanks for visiting our channel